Penn State coach Bruce Parkhill says this is like playing a college all-star team, and he particularly talks about Chris Weber and what a great player he is. Well, Chris Weber, as everybody knows, is almost a household word, and he does everything for Michigan. He leads them in scoring. He does a great job of assists. He leads them in block shots. He leads them in rebounds. There isn't anything that Chris Weber uh, can't do when he puts his mind to it, and he'll have to be sharp again tonight for Michigan to win here. All right, we've got a good one coming up at Rec Hall in State College, Pennsylvania. Michigan and Penn State, and we'll be back with the starting lineups and the opening tip in just a moment as Big Ten basketball comes your way tonight on Raycom. Let's check our Nissan starting lineups now for each of these teams. Michigan will go with the five sophomores or the Fab Five, if you will. And uh, these guys have all started every game with the exception of uh, Ray Jackson, who started 13 games. He missed 10 because of an injury. John Amici will jump it up against Chris Weber. Nice to have you with us wherever you are around the Midwest. And Michigan will go on offense to start the game. Again, you see what happened. They are man-to-man, -man, it appears. Should be the Jackson's favorite jump right off the top. Ray Jackson gives Michigan a two-point lead in the first 10 seconds of this game. Kent State has lost seven games in a row for the first time since February of 1984, so the Nittany Lions are not used to losing streaks like that. And, of course, this would make their season to beat Michigan here tonight. Jawan Howard puts it up and in. Michigan two for two shooting now. Big-time basket. Jackson was all over him. Again, really a lot of traffic on Weber in there. Beautiful slam dunk by Chris Weber inside. His first two of the nine. Michigan equals its biggest lead at 6-2. Boy, again, Michigan guilty of uh, letting that offensive rebound. Second shots will kill you. Jimmy King for three, and he pounds it down. Jimmy King for Michigan. And the points are flying early on on this one. Michigan is four out of six here in the early going, so they're heated up that uh, basket in the first three minutes of the game. Four points for Deron Hayes, who only had six at Northwestern last Saturday, well below his 14-point average. And once again, Juwan Howard, top of the key. Michigan red hot early on in this game. Number 45, uh, Michael Joseph comes in, and uh, the depth for Penn State may be a problem. Michigan a lot deeper. Now again, you're going to see a little bit of a zone matchup on the inside. Let's see how Michigan does against that. They've had their own way against the man-to-man -man as King puts it up. They make King for three, slams down another one. Boy, that quiets the crowd. Two three-pointers for King. He has six. And Michigan now with its biggest lead of the night at 14 to eight. Actually took 12 seconds off the clock after that foul to get it across the uh, half-court line. So they actually had a violation. Of Riley, nice tip from Riley. Crowd wanting goaltending. Nice job on defense by Riley Amici, really throwing that one up there instead of shooting it. A little, little rushed on that shot. Give Riley a lot of credit. Did a good defensive job. Inside, that one won't go. Riley's there to clean it up. Eric Riley, six points in just two minutes off the bench. And Michigan's lead is up to 20 to 10. Second foul on Michael Jennings. Polinka for three. Rob Polinka, his first field goal. Michigan throwing up three pointers. They have three in the game. And once again, now Michigan back up by 11. That's their biggest lead. Eight minutes to play first half. Stay with us at halftime. We'll have a live interview here with prominent member of Michigan's athletic family. Jalen Rose spins into the lane and puts it up and in. That's the first two for Jalen Rose tonight. See Jalen's eyes light up. He's got a uh, much smaller player at 6'2". Steve Weidman guarding him. As soon as he got it, he went right to the hoop with it. Chris Weber on the glass for Michigan. Good job by Jalen here. Two on three there. Very sensible holding it up. Ron Howard just smooth as silk. Howard was six points in the first half, and the Michigan lead is back to ten. But and that's been impressive. But Penn State really doing a great job. Michigan get a little tired on defense. They had three of their last four baskets for Penn State have been on the outside. And I'm sure Steve Fisher and his staff talked about that during this last time out. Little zone again by Penn State. Michigan with 11 rebounds. Penn State has eight. So again, where they need to knock home those three pointers, and that zone's a little lazy coming around. Jalen Rose for three, pounds it down. 
All you got to do is tell them what to do in those situations. Four three-pointers for Michigan. Again, they had 12 against Indiana. But he hasn't blocked one yet tonight. Good patience by Howard. Ray Jackson hits the three. Boy, Michigan is on fire in rec hall tonight. And they have wrecked the hopes of Penn State early on. That's the biggest lead of the game for the Wolverines. The 6'6 senior from Lincoln, Florida. Michigan again a little soft in there. Weber's going to post his man. Little, little hook inside. Beautiful play by Chris Weber. Four for him, and it's 38-26. 2.24 to go in the first half. Michigan with a six-point lead. And the Natives are yelling in Happy Valley. They're really packing it in there now. Boy, the blow somehow came out with that and put it up and in. Jalen Rule, seven for him. And the crowd is unhappy with that uh, sequence right there. Tim Stout, George Pommy, hope you're enjoying this game tonight wherever you are across the Midwest. Catch the students, Tim, right out there on the line. It's got to be tough for the officials and the players when that ball's on the side away from us. Ray Jackson, who took the first shot to start the game and hit it, takes the first shot on the second half and knocks it down. Tough basket. Inside, little post move. That's no good. Eric Carr couldn't complete the shot. Michigan running. Jimmy King. Howard is open, lays it up and in. Nice job by King. He waited long enough to give Howard a chance to get underneath and gave him the ball when he could shoot it rather than handcuffing him early. And don't think that that's an easy thing to do. I don't think I've ever seen Steve Fisher as animated, George, as he is tonight. Well, he knows it's a big game for his team coming off that loss to Indiana and wants to make sure that his team's ready to go. You're going to see Jackson a little whoop de doo here. Oh! Highlight City, baby! <laughs> they knew... If you missed it now, you can tell your friends and they'll watch it anywhere in the country at 11 o'clock. And the crowd here loved it. Eight for Chris Weber. And again, Michigan getting a lot of shots here, and it couldn't get it to fall. That would have given them a little bigger lead. Michigan on a 9-4 run to start the second half here. Ray Jackson against Deron Hayes. Three-pointer outside. No, but there's Jalen Rose to clean it up. Well, Jaylen he got about Rose. seven shots that time. Finally got it to go in. That's an 11-4 Michigan run, and the Wolverines have their biggest lead of the game at 15. And it's Happy Valley, so they should do better. Inside, Jalen Rose puts it up and in. Rose is starting to heat it up now. That's 11 for him, 4 in the second half. And again, it equals Michigan's biggest lead, 15 points. And now it's a 9-point Michigan lead. The Nittany Lions on a six-point run and looks for this crowd. Weber. Boy, oh boy, what a nice shot. Ten for Weber, six in the second half. Michigan now moves it back to 11. And Greg Bartram has it for Penn State. Again, you get those fouls on the big guys. They aren't quite as active to pick them up. And Tally's going to come in and give somebody a rest for Michigan. Jalen Rose for three. Boy, when he is on fire, he's something. 14 for Jalen, and it's a 60-48 game. And here comes Michigan. Shoot it, Rob. <laughs> Got to put that ball in the basket. Howard, post move. Jawan Howard. And Michigan once again builds on that lead, 62 to 48. They cut it to nine, and Michigan has scored five in a row. They keep uh, seeing him play this well. Somebody will convince him he's worth a lot of money. He may have to put off that psychology until he gets through playing. Michigan needs to take a long run right now here and take a lot of time off the clock. Don't be in any hurry. Jackson in a hurry, but he gets it to go. Ray Jackson, 10 for him. And it's 68 to 54. Penn State makes a move. Michigan just keeps coming back. Now we're going to run a red here, the coach says. Let's see what red is. Red is a high feed and a slam dunk to Ray Jackson. Red means highlight film. Yeah. And Ray Jackson delivers the mail 14 for him and Michigan has its biggest lead of the night now at 70 to 54 16 points 
again, that missed foul shot, they get the rebound and wind up getting three points out of it. Beautiful backdoor move, Rose made the fake, took the pass from Weber, gets the assist, and Jalen has 16 points now, and it's 75-57. We can pretty well believe that Michigan is going to win. Leon Derricks is in the game now for the Wolverines for the second time, played a little in the first half. Rose down. Clock running at 29, Michigan has enough points. It just wants to run them. Maybe they want to go hear the president's speech, and they know the way to do it is to get this one over. Down to 21 seconds. Michigan by 10. Wolverines will be 20 and 4. They'll be 9 and 3 in the Big Ten, and Weber with a slam dunk to give him 20. A little icing on the cake, and it's 80 to 68. Clock running down. 9, 8, 7. The Wolverines 20 and 4. Penn State 1 and 10 in the league. 6 and 14 overall. The tip-in is good, and that is going to make the final score tonight. Michigan 80 and Penn State 70.